All right, here we are with a Solar 12K, and we're uh, going to be changing out the battery breaker today. This is the one I just received from Solar. And <clears throat> before I got started, uh, I turned off the DC disconnects at the PV arrays. So these conductors here coming from the PV are uh, de dead, and I tested them, uh, as well as I uh, flipped off the the, uh, the AC disconnect and also the breakers that are uh, on the energy storage battery modules and I've checked all these voltages there is no voltage uh, within the box and so we turned it off we take we, we took the panel off um, I actually found this this wire here was has been permanently connected so I had to just uh, rest that up there for now while I work on it uh, and then I took off the hinged door here, as well as the cover plate that's here. So <clears throat> we will get started with the process of changing out the breaker. This is the integrated DC disconnect on the Solark. Just keep that screw inside of there. Go to my pliers. I'm going to remove this. I want to get around here. I'm going to remove this plastic nut. And that will free up the integrated DC disconnect. And then we're going to pull this of our way. Oh, missed a zip tie. All right, careful to cut just the zip tie. Tease these wires out of here. Give me a little bit of Room to work. Okay. Now these are the screws that we're going to be needing access to. Let's see. Let's get a smaller screw, screw in here. Remove that. Looks like that screw is actually going to stay in place. And we're going to remove this red wire, which is on the positive side. Corresponding black wire on the negative side. Okay. And that's going to allow us to move on. So it doesn't even get lost. <clears throat> you can use a socket here or a screwdriver. <clears throat> Might actually recommend a screwdriver, I mean a socket.
so far so good with the screwdriver though. Make note looks to be the same size screw. Okay, we're not going to remove any more on that side. And now we're going to move on to we have a seven seven millimeter. too heavy. <clears throat> I made a socket with extension. It needs to be a fairly long one. And as I just found out, narrow. Step up to the 17 millimeter socket. washer and a lock washer on them so let's try to hang on to those all right let's see what we might be missing here To our seven millimeter. A big ribbon cable in the way here. That guy does not want to get out of the way. Things are getting loose now. The cable really is 
in the way. Okay, here we go. Now what we will do, uh, make note of these, this, this hole here is closer on this end. Obviously the breaker, you want it, when we put the new one back on, this needs to say off, down. When it's up, it will say on. So we're going to take all these off, essentially put this breaker right back in its place. Cut. 